Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In today's video, we will going to see how to perform static code analysis using Sonar Cube for your MuleSoft application. So basically, we will going to run a Sonar Cube in the Docker container and we will see how you can perform a static code analysis for your MuleSoft application. So for doing this, we have uh, we need to perform a few steps. The first steps like we will going to pull a docker image so like uh, this is the uh, like docker image for the sonar cube then we will build this uh, docker image and we will run the sonar cube as a container uh, in a docker container then we need to add this plugin into your form.xml of sonar cube then finally we will perform a static code analysis using this particular command right so these are the few simple steps we need to perform for performing the step static code analysis for your MuleSoft application. So let me uh, like uh, first start with this particular pool command. So why we do the static code analysis? So we have to ensure that like we don't write a duplication of code or like whatever code we are writing that has been written with the best practices. Like we have taken care of all the things basically like we have like uh, we have taken care of error handling we have taken care of auto discovery we have given given the proper flow name those kind of things will be checked by this particular uh, sonar cube like in this particular static code analysis so let me copy this command and let me go to command prompt in my case i already have image installed on my docker so it will all say this particular image is up to date in your case it may take some time for downloading or for pulling the image you can see for me it's already up to date so it it haven't done anything okay so in your case it may take some time for pulling the image okay i have run this first command and i can say docker images to check what are the images available in my docker so basically this is the image so i want i forget to mention one thing so by like you need to set up a docker desktop or a docker on your laptop or machine basically so in my case i've used the docker desktop here also you can see the images right now there is no container you can like see that so let me start this part uh, let me start the sonar cube now so for that i will run this docker run minus d minus name i'm giving some name some port 9000 9000 where docker instance will running like 99092 and then this is the image which we have pulled just now let me copy this command and just paste it here i haven't copied it just say okay now you can check docker ps command to check whether the container is up and running so you can see this particular container is up and running the container name is sonar cube right so now we need to verify uh, like on this particular sonar on docker desktop you can see the container is up and running you can see the logs now what i will do i will try to browse a sonar cube basically http localhost and it's 9000 port which we have like which we have given during the build of your docker image so so you, you can see it, it is getting started and you can see the log into your docker so you can see So let's wait till it uh, it shows the message. The sonar cube is up. Yeah, you can see the sonar cube is up. Then go to browser and you can log in. So by default, the username and the password is admin admin. You can log in. You can see there's nothing, no project is available here, right? And you can go to uh, rules. In rules, you will find uh, rules related to a lot of different languages and you will find some rules related to mules also so there are some default rules uh, for mule 4 and mule 3 and you can click on one of the rules basically and you can check what is the rule written so here it is checking whether like at least i should have at least one api auto discovery you know into your application so those kind of things so there are default 54 rules so you can see that okay so you can just check like you know apart from that configuration file should not have so many flows if you are saying if your uh, mule configuration file have more than 10 flow right so it will throw uh, some uh, like bug or error something like that we will see that now next step 
we have to go to our application we need to add this particular plugin right so let me do that so i can go to my this is my application which having a very simple flow i can go to pom.xml under pom.xml i have already added the plugin just you can go to build under build you can go to plugins under plugins you can add this particular plugin i will provide all this information in the description of this video you can take it from there all commands and plugin information okay i will simply save it i will go to properties i will take the part of this application then i will open a new command prompt okay i will just paste this okay the next step i need to run a sonar cube static code analysis so i can use mvn sonar sonar then i am passing the host name host url which is located at localhost 9000 then i want to scan the the code which is under the source folder right so i will copy this command and before that i forget one thing you need to do that otherwise it will not scan your xml file because mule configuration file in the xml format so you can go to this administration under administration you can go to xml under xml you just delete dot xml basically and just save it now try to perform this rules so you can see the build is successful right and now you can go to a sonar cube instance and you can see the report generated right so you can see the report has been generated for this particular application you can go there you can check what are the bugs what are the vulnerabilities what are the code smells is there any duplication of the code so right now it's showing everything is passed the quality gate is passed so you can check vulnerabilities so what vulnerabilities you have you can just click here it will provide the information about your vulnerabilities so you can see auto discovery should be used to register the app in the api manager so it's saying like you need to use the api auto discovery so right now my application is not using any api auto discovery that's why it's showing this particular vulnerabilities or this error or this issue then also you can check what are the different code smells so application should have api kit global exception strategy you can just expand this so you can find the more details about your errors right so you can check everything like you know what are the errors what are the bugs you know what are the vulnerabilities like you know and apart from that like uh, you can go to this administration you can go to quality quality profiles under quality profiles if you go to mule you can see by default this particular scanning the mule 4 basically mule 4 application this rules is for mule 4 application in case if you want to perform static code analysis for mule soft 3.0 or greater so you can do that like new rule for 3.x so you can particular like you can change this profile but for now i will just keep a default profile apart from that if you want to change any gateway rules and anything if you want to add new rules you can do it from here basically by default it is using the quality gate equals to sonar way right but if you want to change the like uh, quality gates basically you can do that so first you have to define the quality gate under quality gates so default is sonar way and here you can see the coverage on new code is less than 80 percent so these are something you can just create a new gate also you can say mule gate okay i will not get into deep and you can define the rules here basically like you can just say add condition like you know condition coverage is less than 60 percent those kind of things you can do that and once you've done that you can go to head like uh, you can go to project uh, let me do one thing you can go to administration and you can change you can see the mule gate so you can definitely change your quality gate basically right apart from that you have one page which provide all the information you can go to mule soft catalyst and this mule soft catalyst is providing each and every information how to write a custom rules you know so those kind of things you can see that this is the this is how you can write the custom rule and how can you run the sonar cube on your desktop those kind of uh, like uh, sonar cube rules on your desktop and all those things you can find all the information here then also it provides some commands related to docker it's saying you can try out this also so you can go to catalyst and just search for mule sonar plugin so mule soft catalyst you will find more details about this particular uh, sonar uh, cube plugin on this page okay so 
yeah i hope you like the video so if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching